to everyone, and salam alaikum. Uh, thank you to Creative Summit uh, for bringing us together. Uh, I'm going to be reading a few free words. As I stand before you in belief of the radical possibility of speaking, while standing in collective occupation of Turtle Island and other multiple hurt homelands that our human body inhabits, all occupied from Palestine to Kashmir, from womanhood to genderhood, from the ramparts of soul to the skin of humanity that are all under siege. So this is a short verse, and you'll all resonate with this. It's called Empire. No sugar in my chai, please. There's a sweetness to knowing that all empires crumble. This is another short one called War. A brief electoral history of peace. There was no war. There was no vote, only war. So this uh, other free verse is, was written in 2019 and it has a reverse colonial gaze in it and it was exhibited somewhere in the UK. It's titled, In Kashmir, All Phones Are Dead. In Kashmir, all phones are dead. The cold gag is strong in the air. Deep-rooted chinars lift their icy arms to heavens, praying for the spring's thaw. Your Britain is cold too, but your phones will always work. When you can call mother when finally you decide to return her call, I wish I could do that, you know, shrug my mother off. But she has too many worries. Her woman's world doubled. Soldiers crowd her dreams. Coast of disappeared boys knock at the door she never shuts. Tying countless worry knots, praying to the gods of mercy to watch over me because she cannot. Kashmir, its angelicized cashmere, sounds like an old sweater, moth-eaten, handed down. But I promise, even if it were a garment, the shearing, scouring, grading, sorting, carding, spinning, weaving was done in England. So this is your sweater. Sorry, I mean your story too. But Kashmir is not a ball of wool. Kashmir is its hearty people made of the softest, most fragrant earth where the crown's yellowing phantom still exists in old and new files unburied in broken tin trunks, shape-shifting into bullets, tear gas, pepper gas. God, it's the spices still. Pellets, prisons, and gags, all accoutrements of torture and tyranny. Jhelum is a slow-moving funeral, carrying children killed, dismembered, whose mothers wait for a phone call, praying they're just being like you, your young people, careless and alive. But mothers know, they won't know. Curfew is a glacier growing large in the heart of the city. Streets are icy, cold, empty your breath, except for silence, dogs and soldiers. All phones remain dead. So if time permits, I'm gonna read two poems, two or three more poems. Uh, this first one is dedicated to Rifat al-Arir, the Palestinian poet and founder of We Are Not Numbers. It also refers to their now globally known poem, If I Must Die, that he wrote on November 1, 2023, as the genocide in Gaza raged, and then he was killed in an airstrike on 6 December 2023. And Kashmiris have a forever abiding love with Palestine. This is titled, Forever Will Speak of You. Children in whose eyes God is never lost, strawberries or drops of blood, kites white with long tails, returning, flying high on love, will speak of you. Songs that put the war to sleep, crushing grief that smiles, rains that cool the fiery bombs, will speak of you. Expo markers you beheld as your only toughest possession, in battling occupiers, your words written and your words read, Ikra, Ikra, Ikra will speak of you. 
Rubies are the tears you shed for the lives that did not need to end. Silences that we have allowed to drown in our eyes will speak of you. You wrote, if I must die, no killed to be exact, only to live forever. And forever you reminded with a gap to smile and shining eyes, yes, forever will speak of you. This one is titled Poetry After Palestine. First, to read brave poems written by poets awaiting their execution, giving life to an arsenal of words, their only weapon in an unfair battle. We, my friends, will have to crawl under the bombed rubble where poetry lies buried in Gaza, here, where the poet awaits patiently. And after we gather courage like strawberries in a garden raised, feed the buffalo, can we dare to read brave poems and maybe dare to think of writing again. This last one is dedicated to you as a community of love. Uh, and thanks to Creative Summit for bringing us together in this moment of terrible isolation. It's titled Instructions on Endurance in Love. Cradle that exit wound, it shouldn't heal. Peace they proclaim on lands stolen and empty graves do not accept. That is exactly how you must love. Ignore a limit, exceed limit. This last one is, is, I can't read because we don't have time. It was in the memory of a young lawyer who was killed in Kashmir and then his murderer who was in the Indian military ran to California and there he shot his family. I'll just read the last one, the last verse, and it's also something instructive and something to remind us. We must kiss by the jhelum, our lifeblood. There is no other way. Heart is the only way to heaven. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.